I'm going to start by getting the portfolio working, because I kind of want to see some pictures already. It looks like I need to finish up the add finished work method. All right, now I need to actually create that finished photo class. So I'll come back to my overview and make a new class, finished photo. I'll move this down here since it's going to be used by the portfolio. Now basically I just want the finished photo to have the location of the file and the name of the photographer. So I'll create instance variables for them, initialize them in the constructor, and make it possible for the portfolio to get the information back out later. Now I can go back to the portfolio and compile again. And if I were to actually use the correct class names, I now have the collecting of finished works working. To display them, I'll have to fill in the bits that I left out before. I'll make the picture based on what's saved in my finished work object, translate it to the correct position, and draw it. The signature will have the same X coordinate. Whoops, looks like I've got a bit of a name collision here. I've called the picture object photo, and I've also called the finished photo photo. So I'm going to call this one work, and I'll need to be careful to change it in exactly the right places. And now, I can actually get the height of the picture object so that I'll know where to place the text. And I'll get the actual text for the signature from the work object, not the picture object. Let's see how we're doing. I should probably actually call the constructor when I'm making a text object. And now it's better. So let's see how this is working. I'll go back to the overview and create a class portfolio demo. Portfolio demo will have a main method where I'll create a portfolio object and then add some finished work to it. Here's one of the images I know is in the package. And I'm actually going to use the original photographer's name here. And I'll add two more. And at the end, I'll want to display the work. Looks like I should capitalize correctly. Try this again. Now if I run my portfolio demo, it prints out the three photos with the names just as I wanted. Looks like I'm ready to start using the portfolio in the photographer class. The photographer will need to be able to accept assignments. When a photographer accepts an assignment, They'll take a photo, which in this simulation will mean finding a file name based on a description for the assignment. Then the photographer will add the finished work and their name into the portfolio. There are a few ways that we could get a hold of the portfolio. One is that we could just have it passed in as a parameter. In this case, I'll just put it in as an instance variable. Either one works, but I'm going to need to take it in as a parameter in the constructor. And I'm also going to need the name of the photographer which will also come in as a parameter in the constructor. Now that should be all set, but my photographer is probably not working all that well yet. I keep using assignments, but assignments haven't been defined yet. So I'll make a new class. This is all getting pretty squished. That's a bit better. Now the assignment class isn't going to have a whole lot in it. Basically the assignment object is what's going to be stored in the to-do list for the manager and then used by the photographer to know what assignment they should do. I know that I'll need a description for the photographer, and I'll eventually need a priority, but I'll come back to that. And here's my getter method for the description. Now the photographer should compile, once I fix the typos in the assignment. And now I could write a photographer demo that shows that the photographer class works. I'll make a new photographer, and give the photographer a portfolio. I'll fix a little typo, take out the S that I had here in the photographer class, and then I'll make sure that all of the assignments made it into the portfolio by displaying the finished work. When I run the photographer demo, I get three photos with me pretending to have taken them. So that's looking pretty good. Now I only need to fix the manager class, though the manager does have some of the more complicated logic. The most interesting part is when we give out the assignments. The manager will need a list of unfinished assignments. I already defined that earlier in one of the hint videos, along with a list of photographers. Now there's this detail about assigning the photographer who was hired first the highest priority assignment. So it looks like I'll be iterating over all of the photographers, and I'm going to want to look at the one who was hired first, first. Luckily this won't be too difficult, since I'm storing all of the photographers in an array list. They're going to be stored in the list in the order that I hired them. So if I iterate over the list, I'm going to iterate over the photographers, starting with the one that was hired first. Now for the trickier part. I'll want to find the highest priority assignment, but you already mostly know how to do this. So I'll quickly make a helper method that does this. Now there is one hiccup here. I'll need to add the get priority method to the assignment class, but that wasn't especially complicated. And now I'm back. Looks like I tried to index into an array list, 
using parentheses. All right, now I'm using the get method and correcting spelling errors. And I should be able to use my get highest priority assignment method. So for each photographer, I'll get the highest priority assignment, give it to a photographer, and remove it so I don't do it twice. And one more gotcha, I only want to do these things if there's actually another assignment to be done. So if there are no assignments in the list of assignments, I'll skip all of this. I could add an else return here. And then the moment I realize there are no more assignments, I would stop looking through the photographers. This isn't necessary, but it might skip a lot of steps if our company gets really, really big and we have thousands of photographers. I think I'm done with the give out assignments method. Now I'll make sure that I've implemented all the other methods. I'll need to add a photographer to the list when I hire a photographer and make sure to initialize all of my array lists as well as a new portfolio. When I get a new assignment, I'll need to add the new assignment to the list of assignments to be done. And at the end, when I'm ready to check the portfolio, I'll use the portfolio to display the finished work. Did it work? Looks like it. If you stuck with that problem all the way through and got it, great job. And if you didn't, I hope that you learned something by seeing me go through the exercise. Now that I have this working, I would probably want to go back and clean up all of the documentation. But I won't make you spend any more time on this example. Kai has some important concepts to show you with the car share program.